In a remote corner of Haiti, high in the mountains, people have gathered inside a dirt floor building. They're here to learn more about cholera, a subject many know far too well. Like the woman in the orange hat. Her name is Marie, and you can see the weakness in her eyes because Marie still suffers the lingering effects of cholera. Oh, she feels a little bit, you know, okay, but, you know. Marie is not alone in her experience. Her story, all of the stories, tell the tale of what cholera has done to Haiti. Uh, the cholera mistreated her so bad, and she had nine days at the clinic. So bad. Your cholera killed a lot of people. The cholera take people down and you know kill the people. The cholera epidemic has reached every corner of Haiti, from the capital city of Port-au-Prince with its hectic streets and bustling markets, to communities like this, Cascade Pichon, a place quite literally at the end of the road. It lies beneath a wondrous cascading waterfall in the high mountains of southeast Haiti. Cascade Pichon is where Heart to Heart International has worked to provide access to quality health care since 2010. A new clinic is now here, and from it, Heart to Heart launches the battle against cholera. These are local residents who have been trained as health agents. At this meeting, inside the clinic, they give reports from their areas. How many are sick, what is needed. They are issued ID badges and Heart to Heart medical scrubs. These men and women are volunteers on the front lines of this battle. They serve as an important link between Heart to Heart and the villages they represent. To get to those places from the clinic, to document Heart to Heart's anti-cholera campaign, one must walk up. We have left the village of Cascade Pichon and are heading to another community high in the mountains where they are conducting cholera prevention training. The only way to get there is by taking these very rocky and steep paths. We're heading to Boadlans, about an hour's hike, and back to that dirt floor building. Inside, a heart-to-heart -heart trained health agent teaches local residents about cleanliness, how and where to defecate, how to wash the hands, rather simple but a first line of defense against cholera spreading. Though supplies the donkey carried up the mountain, those are cholera kits. There's one for each person. Inside the bag, soap for hand washing, bleach to treat water, and oral rehydration salts to replenish what diarrhea strips from the body tools in the fight against cholera. The kit and the education, both a key part of Heart to Heart's anti-cholera campaign. This approach is replicated in communities across these mountains, teaching and sharing information that many have not learned, educating the children and the adults, and providing the items needed to keep from getting sick. Because if one does get sick, it's a long way to get advanced care. Two hours away by four-wheel drive SUV lies Belance, a town on the coast of the Caribbean Sea. There's a government health department facility here, and Heart to Heart is bringing anti-cholera supplies. The cholera treatment center is in the back. It's a quarantine tent 
The supplies heart to heart delivered are bound for that tent and the patients inside. And when you leave it, it's mandatory to wash your hands and use a bleach disinfectant for the soles of your shoes to keep cholera from spreading. This center is where Marie came to be treated. The overall goal is to keep people like Marie and others from having to make that journey to stop cholera cold here and now. And so the campaign continues. The training is good. The training is good for them. And then if they knew about the cholera before, you know, her son might not die. From one community meeting to the next, from school to school. That's the most important thing, you know, education and the training is good. The health agents lead the way. Atuad is providing, you know, health care to the community and that's why he's volunteering, you know, to work with Heart to Heart. Guided by Heart to Heart medical staff and supported by donors, Heart to Heart International is leading the fight against cholera under the waterfall high in the towering mountains of Southeast Haiti.